What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. Obviously, we are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Togekiss team. And I shouldn't just say a Togekiss team. I'm going to say a Togekiss team that can compete on the master tier ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and turn on this notification bell so you know when all my videos go live. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Eddie G. Thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. If you guys want to leave me rental codes, tweet at me, DM me over on Twitter. Link is down in the description below. I love getting fan teams. I love looking at them. And more importantly, I love using them for YouTube videos. But let's get started here. And at top of corner, starting off with Tokus. And Tokus is one of those Pokemon that really fell off ever since, like, uh, what is it? Restricted mods really came into play because Zacian kind of just counters it fully. And Zacian is probably the most used Pokemon in the game, so Tokus really fell off after that. But I still really like this Pokemon and absolutely adore using it. It's got Serene Grace alongside with the Focus Sash, and then it is all for support here. It's got Yawn, it's got Protect, it's got Follow Me, and then last but not least, it's Lone some stab move. It's going to be dazzling. Second Pokemon on squad is going to be Solgaleo with that full metal body and that weakness policy. And this thing is all about attacking. It's got Sun Seal Strike, it's got Trick Room, it's got EQ, Wild Charge, and it's just here to attack, get some big big damage off, and to counter up Trick Room. And to counter up Trick Room. I, I shouldn't have said it, just all that it does is attack, because it does have Trick Room, and we can counter Trick Room, or we can set it ourselves if our opponent's team is just totally outspeeding us. Middle left is going to be Kyogre, not just any Kyogre, it's not just that normal Kyogre with the Mystic Water or the Life Orb or something like that, just doing Water Spout damage. It's going to be Drizzle Kyogre with Leftovers, and it has Calm Mind, Origin, Pulse, and Ice Beam. So this is like one of the first Kyogres I ever used without Water Spout. So it's definitely going to be fun to set up Calm Mind, and probably Dynamax. He seems like he's just a Dynamax Kyogre. So can't wait to rock out with him and use something different on the ladder. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Incineroar over here. It's got Intimidate, a Guava Berry, and then everything else is normal on that. You just can't go wrong with it. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be another support mod. It is going to be Sableye over here with the Prankster and that Iron Ball. It has the Iron Ball because we're rocking Trick on it. We can hand it off to opponent, take their item, and just slow them down with the Iron Ball. We also have will o -Wisp as our burn move. And then we got Shadow Sneak first on priority and Quash to make the opposing opponent's Pokemon go last in that turn. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be Robum. Another great Pokemon, really good in the Dynamax form as well. It's got the Grassy Surge alongside with the Soul Vest, and it's got Wood Hammer. Knock off the takeoff items, Grassy Glide for first turn priority in that Surge, and then it's got Fake Out for flinches. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Combine Kyogre and Togekiss Series 12 team. Let's get rolling here in battle number one. It's actually funny that we're going up against a Galarian Zapdos team because I was going to use a Galarian Zapdos team for today's video, but I ended up going with this squad. Maybe we'll use this one in the future, but this seems looking pretty strong. He's got Zacian. He's got Dialga. He has Wimscott who could Tailwind set up, or he could probably trick him with that as well. And last but not least, he has the Landers and the Gastron. Okay, so pretty strong str squad. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I feel like Solgaleo could definitely be nice. We could pop trick him if he goes into Wimscott, which I think he might do. We shall see. We shall see, but I'm definitely scared of that uh, Lando as well. I'm definitely scared of that Lando. So I could go here. I could go in with Intimidate and Cinnamon, which wouldn't be bad. Or I could go in with Sableye. A little bit of Sableye action wouldn't be bad. Or I could just go here and go Kite over Sableye for the lead. I can definitely quash a Pokemon and just kind of get ripping into that. I mean, he's got to bring Storm Drake Ashton, though. So we definitely have to watch out for that. Storm Drake Ashton is definitely going to be scary. Um, hmm. Robloom's not a bad lead. But, uh, you know, I'm going to go Sa uh, Solgaleo. I'm going to go Sableye here as well. And I'm just going to rip Rillaboom and Ogre. That's going to be my play. I do dig it. I do dig it. But I think like this battle is going to be tough. Just looking at his Pokemon, I don't know. I don't know. That Storm Drake Ashram really takes out a huge part of our offense, of our offensive power with our Kai Ogre, you know? Just a little rough there. But you guys know the deal. Before battle number one even starts, you guys got to let me know in the comment section down below. For question of the day, what type of music do you guys listen Love to get, to get get to know you guys a bit more personally. Let me know what kind of jams you guys like to listen to. For me, I actually like to listen to all types of music. I really do not mind. But uh, like my favorite would probably be like alternative or like punk rock or like rock on the side. That's really what I I jam out to. But he's gonna end up leading the Wimscott alongside with Dialga and uh, we could Iron Bull this. Catch up an EQ as well. Or I could just straight up Dynamax, which I'm kind of leaning towards. Okay, I'm kind of leaning towards because I'm gonna Max Quake right in here. And then I'm just going, I'm just going to trick this Dialga. I'm just going to say, hey, yo, give me that item. And we're going to get buzzing after that. I'm with it all day. Is he going to Dynamax as well? He is. But he's probably going to go last because we are giving him that lovely little Iron Ball. He might tail one up on me. He could taunt me as well. That would be an awful play if he taunts me. I would hate that. 
Do not taunt me. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. If he taunts me, I don't think he is going to. He might pop a tailwind. Mm, what, what could he do? He could pop a moonblast. We'll see. Just don't taunt me. That, that's, the only, that's the only thing I'm asking for. And I know it's going to happen. Because every time I ask for one thing not to happen, it happens every single time. So we're going to ask. We're going to have fingers crossed. We're going to knock on wood. You guys should probably hear it. Yeah. That's my, that's, a, that's, that's my desk right there. This little wood desk. I love this desk, but I need more. I need new one. I had this recording studio for so long. I love it, though. I love it. Let's see how this one plays out. Do not taunt me. Okay, he tailwinds. I'm cool with that, because we're going to just take his item. We're going to give him the iron ball, and hopefully like he has like a life orb or something. We can just snag for him. I'm going to say, hey, yo, give me that. What you got there? What you got? We take his e expert belt. Wow, he's expert belt. He's going to chop a quake here. That's going to proc policy, and he's still faster than us. Wow, that's a little whack. I could quash him next turn, but yeah, the extra belt. We take that off. It makes it do less damage. He does, he does proc our policy. And this is physical, so, I mean, special defense boost is really going to benefit him. But policy is proc, and, and from here, I could quash. Could indeed quash him. I could definitely quash him. And extra belt's going to make us do more damage, which is great. Oh, no, we don't have extra belt. On him, so let's say block. But we dropped that. That's some big damage. I'm thinking of just quashing and rolling out from there. Wait, it does sound beautiful. It does sound lovely. The special defense boost is out and about. I think we just quash him. Get it from that way. We could go after one Scott because he could guard. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna quash him. Here's a quash, buddy. Here's a quash. You are not going before my soul Galio. It's not happening. It's not happening. And, and you're not gonna max guard. And you're not gonna max guard. I wonder what moves he's rocking. Tailwind? I would say Tailwind, Trick Room, Moonblast, and. We taunt Energy Ball? I don't know. Well, Scott has just like a, a great different variety of options. Could be rocking protect, but I, I don't really see a lot of rocking protect on one Scott. This guy's really just there for a nice little support. He's gonna end up. Oh, there's protect. That's beautiful. We'll take that turn all day. So we get rid of Diablo this turn. That's huge because we get to quash it, and then I can get off another turn with my uh, with my Soul Galio. Yeah, that's a beautiful turn. That's a beautiful turn right there. A beautiful turn. So we get rid of you. I still have my uh, Rillaboom in the back end, which is great, and we still have Kyoko, which is great. So if he does end up having Surrender Gastron, we kind of count Gastron or with a uh, Rillaboom. Let's say solid, solid first two turns for us. And he protected. So we basically know his moveset. If I had to guess, he's got to be rocking Trick Room. He's got to be rocking, uh, what was it? Trick Room, Protect, Tailwind, and then Moonblast, right? I, I would just think it's a it's a Trick Room Moonblast, considering he has Diablo on this team, right? It just makes the most sense. It just makes the most sense, but we'll see. We shall see. He's going to go in the gash down here, which I'm totally cool with. We're special defense boosted. And I'm just going to actually uh, get after Swim Scott. And if I take Gashon's item, because it's probably left there, right? It's probably leftovers. So I'm gonna just snag these. I'm just gonna snag these. And I can shadow sneak next turn. He just cancels battle. Let's go. Great start for us. Soul Galio and Sableye sweet battle number one. We can hop into a second, try to showcase the other Pokemon on the team. Let's get rolling here in battle number two. And it looks like we're going up against an absolute powerhouse of a squad. Just look at this opponent's team. It's looking super powerful. He's got the ground, he's got the Charizard, it's the Kiram White, Regilecki, and Sonor, and Amoongus. That's looking so tough. That is looking so tough for us, but how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like Sableye Kyogre could be a good lead, but our only problem with Kyogre is like, if he, he can just swap in the ground and kind of take control there. But you know what? I'm going to go Sableye, and I'm going to go Solgaleo here. Sableye Solgaleo is looking like the play. It's looking like a play. I just dig it. I just dig it. Maybe with uh, Togekiss and Kyogre in the back end? It is looking like the play. Hmm. Or we could go Incineroar of, uh, on our own. I think we might go Incineroar over, uh, over Sableye. And then go Togekiss into Ogre. Wait, that does sound good. It does sound good for me. I might have to Dynamax my Kyogre this game. We'll see. We'll see how this one plays. Let's just see what he does. But yeah, this one's looking like it's going to be super, super tough for us. I would love to try to pop a Trick Room here because his team's rather fast. And he might just lead the Charizard and kind of get after it with speed control with Max Dashing. And then plus he has the Red Jalecki as well. But our only problem would be if we pop a Trick Room and he goes into a Amoongus. Because we know Amoongus is it's a, it's an animal. It's an absolute menace in Trick Room. It's probably one of the best Pokemon in Trick Room. Besides like Kallax. Because it, it can just spore first turn every single time. It's like Torkoal. It just erupts. But in Amoongus' case, it just spores. And he goes in with those two. And I'm kind of cool with that. He can Rage Powder. We can pop... Do we pop a trick room? That's my real question. Do we even pop a trick room? I like punish shot and uh, 
And get some weather off. Could what do I do? I could protect Solgaleo. Or I could pop a diamond action card. So I'm kinda of leaning towards. And just flare blitz into you. Or I could fake him out. Obviously gonna rage my I could snarl. You know, I'm gonna snarl. I'm just gonna guard? Do I guard? I'm gonna guard and see what he does. Cause he might swap his Amoongus in the ground. And just go for a flare. So if we can waste a turn like that, we can get off a snarl and kind of roll off from there. And if he swaps in the ground, then we can just swap into Kyogre next turn. It's tough. This is tough. This is this is tough. Yeah, there's the withdrawal from him. Great call for us. Great call for us. All day he's gonna go after my Sogi over here. He's gonna swap into the ground on. We're gonna be able to guard the shot. Right, this is what I think is happening. He's definitely going for a guard or a a, a, a G Max wildfire and my Sogi to take him out. We're gonna die next. We're gonna guard this first shot. I'm just gonna start snarling him down, and now I can swap into Kyogre, take weather control from him, and kind of get buzzing from there. I do dig it. I do dig it. So he's Dynamaxing, I'm Dynamaxing. The only problem would be if, if he reads to protect, but I doubt it, right? There's no way he put, he he reads the match. He's gotta be going for a wildfire. It's just it's just a solid play. It's just a solid play. So let's see what he does. I feel like if I can get rid of like a few of these Pokemon, my Kyogre can come in the back and clean up a lot. Right, this is gonna be good battle. This is gonna be good battle. We still have Tokus in the back end to kind of support our Pokemon. So I do dig. So I do adore. But so guys can come out here. Look at his HP on this thing. 488. Plays no games. Plays no games. It's like defense and HP bulked because it has weakness policy. So once it gets proc, you can pretty much roll off from there. Wildfire does come through and a great little snarl from us. Great little snarl coming out here. I probably should have partnered shot, but snarl works wonders. Snarl works wonders. If we get off that, I would love to party shot this next turn. Absolutely adore it. Solar power is gonna chip up damage. I would I would love the pardon shot, but I, I gotta change up weather, right? I gotta change up weather. So I'm gonna hard swap into my ogre here. I'm gonna have Solgaleo do a lot of this heavy lifting. I could go into here, or I could just quake. What do I wanna do here? Do I wanna quake into the ogre slot? Because he's probably gonna proc policy. But I really don't want to worry about the Charizard too much. Yeah, I'm just gonna quake into the ogre slot. That's gonna be my play. Or not the ogre slot, the ground on slot. Because if he procs policy here, we have a chance of taking out this uh, Groudon. Maybe, maybe not. Because it's not stab. I could have went for a steel spike, but I'd rather get the special defense boost because Charizard's out on the field diamond. I think it's still an absolute menace. But a solid first turn from us. A solid first turn from us. Because we got that snarl off, which I absolutely love. He's going to withdraw that. Do not go into Amoogus. Do not go into Amoogus. Anybody but Amoogus. Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. So we're swapping here. Um, What do I do from here? Trying to think. I think I just stay in with Kyogre. Try to get rid of that ground on. Which Ice Beam in that slot? That's not a bad play. Or I could calm mine. Saying he's going for a swap. He's going to airstream over into that's a great call there, but we able to soak up all day. That's an easy soak. And we have leftovers, which is really good. And he already has speed, so I'm not too worried about that. He does not go for a wildfire, which Quake's coming in hot. We get the special defense boost. And I do not mind eating up a wildfire at this point. That still did a great amount of damage. Still did a great amount of damage. Now, special defense boost is out on the field. Uh, at this point, I think we lightning and we chip up some damage here. And we just ice beam into that slot, right? Because if he swaps Amoongus, that's fine. We can get a nice little super effective shot off. And ice beam will do more damage. I could Calm Mind here as well. Calm Mind is looking pretty good. Calm Mind is looking rather good. I could Calm Mind. I could Calm Mind here. But uh, how's the speeds look for these Pokemon? Does Ogre go first? I think Ogre... I would want Ogre to go first. He does. It's beautiful. So, Kyogre does go first. We got a lot of thinking going on in this battle. So, I think I just Ice Beam straight into the slot. Because if he wants to swap into uh, Groudon at that point, that's totally fine. And then I can just Max Lightning onto the slot. And get off as much damage as I possible. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Because it's just say he swaps into Groudon and he goes for G-Max Wildfire and Solgaleo. He's minus one on special attack and we're plus one on special offense. So, we should be able to circle pretty well and have that weakness policy proc and kind of roll from there. And there's a swap. So Groudon's coming back out here. Go ahead. You can have weather. You can have weather. I'm dropping Ice Beam into you to chip up some damage alongside with this lovely little Max Lightning coming hot. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. Groudon's out and about. He's going to go for a Wildfire into Solgaleo. Solgaleo, you should be able to soak. It's up all day. Look at that. Beautiful. So he does get off that chip Wildfire damage, which is, I guess it's fine, but weakness policy is proc and we should just be able to dump on Charizard here. Unless one thing. 
Unless he has a Wakan berry, but most of them are rocking Charlie berry. Ice Beam's flying. Send it, baby. Chipping up some damage. Give me the freeze. Give me the freeze, baby. No freeze. No freeze. Max Lightning's gonna fly. This should okay, all right? See you later. Get him out of here. Cool. Charizard out. Of the but I could swap the Ogre here. I could calm mine if I want to as well. I'm trying to think of what I can do. Because I'm not gonna lie, this ground is kind of scary. Man. The blades. It's kind of scary. Man. I could hard swap into Incineroar, get that Intimidate. But Wildfire's chipping, which is rather annoying. It's rather annoying, but Leftover is gonna help us out tremendously. So, we're getting some HP back. This is such a good battle. Such a good battle. And we're at, what are, dude, that does too much damage. And we're gonna go down to like 80 something, 82 HP? Because that was the last item actually. So I hope he throws out a physical attacker. If he throws out a physical attacker, I'm I'm automatically swapping into my uh, Incineroar just for an Intimidate. But the blades is what I'm scared of. You know, that, the blades coming in hot, they definitely do work on me. They definitely do work on me. He could go into a Moogus, which I wouldn't mind. I would actually rather him go into a Moogus. Right? It does sound good if he goes into a Moogus. See what he does. Oh, Moogus does have Regenerator too, so he's going to be back up on HP. You do, do got to remember that, because we put him down half of that with our first Max Quake. But, uh, yeah, Regenerator's coming out. And our opponent's taking a while to pick from his Pokemon. Here he goes now. Who's it going to be? It's going to be Kiram. So Kiram's going to come out here. And, uh, okay. Yeah, I see you, Kiram. I, I see you, dog. I see you, dog. Our problem with going into Incineroar is that, what's it called? That, uh, I could do, I could rock it. Our problem with going into Incineroar would be, uh, the, what's it called? The blade's coming in hot. But I kind of just want to swap Kai over here. I could try to pop a trick room. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna swap to Kyogre just to get weather back. Into my Tokus just so we dodge his uh his blades. I'm gonna try to pop a trick room if we can. I'm gonna try to pop a trick room if we can. Maybe he'll miss a blades. Maybe he will miss a blades, but it's time for Sogali to go out here. And if we can pop this trick room, this could be good. Uh, I do not know. Oh, this is gonna be a good battle. This is gonna, this is gonna be a great battle. But I feel like he has the upper hand on me here. Toga's gonna come out here. He should be blading, right? He's gonna earth power. Can we eat that? We do not. Is he going for blades? Please tell me you're going for blades here. Please tell me you're rocking the blades. Just so we dodge this move and keep our focus, Ash. Cool. So we keep our focus, Ash. We're chilling with that. Um. Oh, we don't have focus, Ash anymore. God dang it. I hate the wildfire. I hate it. Okay. So now we go into Kyogre here. And yeah, at this point, we just sent a Origin Pulse and follow immediate shots, right? Gotta be your play. That is got to be your play. Grizzle is out and about. He could swap the Kyogre and go into a Moogus. That's definitely an option. Just to get the weather back into his favor. But I just think that is our play. He's going to follow me here. What do we predict that? Do we predict this? Do we predict the swap? Do we predict the swap and just go into like a... A yawn over here. And then just Ice Beam into the Kyogre slot. I'm kind of with that. I'm kind of with that because he could swap his ground on back into a Moongus. I'm kind of with it. I'm kind of with that. I kind of dig it. I don't know why. I feel like he's going to swap the ground. He's been doing it all game. We're making a hard call here. We're making a hard call here saying he's swapping the ground on into a Moongus. So we're just going to hit it with an Ice Beam and we're going to uh, yawn onto the other slot. What a call by Jeans. What a call by Jeans. That's a great call by us. That's a great call by us. It just depends how much damage this Kyurem can do right here on the Kyogre. Hopefully we can soak it up. Oh, he has freeze dry. We should have followed me. Can we eat this? Oh my god, no! We cannot eat that. That's rough. We do yawn that Pokemon, and he's gonna swap back into the ground on here. Oh my god, there's electric terrain too. Oh my jeans, what are you doing? You make a great call on the hard read just to waste that turn. Just to waste that turn. That's so rough. That is so rough for me. That is rough for me. Should have gleamed. Should have gleamed. Dude, freeze dry ripping into me. Was not expecting that thing to rock a freeze dry. Did me dirty, did me dirty. But I guess we'll gleam here. He might follow me the shot and I can fake out. I'll fake out the Kiram here. That's rough, that's rough. And then we yawned in electric train. That's rough, that is rough. But dang, yo, we made some great calls this battle, but battle number two is not looking good for us. Not looking good for us. You guys know the deal. If we lose this battle, we're hopping into that third one. We're definitely winning it. We're definitely winning it. 
I knew this one was going to be a tough battle right off the rip. We did play really well up against that Charizard. Guarding that first shot, doing all that good stuff. And that would have been a solid play for us. That would have been a solid play for us. I just mean, the last train wasn't out. Because even if Kyogre went down and we yawn that thing, he's forced to swap. He's just going to end up protecting you. That's totally fine. And, oh, it's a Moogus Sporn. Please do not Sporn Moogus. Oh, he's double protecting like a coward. Like a coward. But that's a great play. <laughs> that's a great play. The fake out's going to get blocked. Dazzling Gleam is going to get blocked. And what do I do? What do I do? That terrain should be gone, right? Dude, the wildfire is so annoying. Look how much damage. Nobody touched my Togekiss yet. Look how much damage got off on that. I'm just going to Gleam again. And I really want a Flare Blitz. But I guess I'll just Snarl. I guess I'll just Snarl. I really want a Flare Blitz, but <laughs> the range is going to neglect so much of the damage. God dang, Tokus probably gonna go down here. I think he just drops a freeze try into him. Yeah. Bye, Tokus. Eat this up somehow. No, no shot. No shot. So that's gonna be GG's. That's definitely gonna be GG's. Would have been nice with that yawn, but yo, Wildfire is just chipping onto me. So I was gonna fly through here. Get off some nice little damage. And is this thing just gonna spawn me? Please don't spawn me. I'm running the battle. Just don't put my don't put, put Tony to Tiger to sleep. He goes for the spore, and we have terrain. Aha. Aha. Good old terrain. Good old terrain. See, I forgot about it. You forgot about it. It happens sometimes. It happens sometimes. But yeah, this battle is pretty much over. He's rocking Earth Power. He has Groudon in the back end. There's no shot we win this battle. But we don't get swept. Let's hop into our third and final battle. Look for that winning record. Not a bad second battle. We made some great calls, but made some mistakes also. So we end up losing that battle. But we're hopping into our final battle for today's video. And we're going up against a similar team. We got to beat this one. We got to get that winning record. Let's roll into it. He's got the Charizard Groudon, just like last a team. Then he has Yavelta, Regilecki, Sableye, and Indeedee. So two support mons. Um, and then an absolute powerhouse of the other. How should I play this one? Weather War again. I feel like every time I use Kyogre Groudon, I always go up against the opposite. And it's always just a Weather War. It's always weather war. But I want to get Togekiss out here. I want to rock out with this Pokemon. And I kind of just want to pop Trick Room turn one. Right? Follow me. Maybe pop a Trick Room and then roll from there. It does sound lovely. It does sound lovely. And then bring Kyogre in the back end. And then last but not least, we could go Incineroar. Or we could go Rillaboom. I kind of like Rillaboom. We can knock off items. We can do a lot with him. Let's get really, really out here. Really, Rillaboom. Run it up. Run it up, Rillaboom. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're locking it in. We're locking it down. Let's grab ourselves that one. It is time to grab ourselves. For you guys. For you guys. But, dude, I'm so excited for uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Man. I just can't wait for it. I cannot wait to do a playthrough on that game, do content for you guys, streaming for you guys. And speaking of streams, my streams are coming back this upcoming week. So, if you guys are interested in catching me live, Jeans25 on Twitch, link is down in the description below. We're going to be doing Strikers. We're going to be doing some Pokemon stuff. We could also do some like BDSP viewer battles, which would be a lot of fun. So if you guys are interested in that, we're going to be streaming like two to three times a week. And I also do stream over on the SCG Short Circuit Gaming channel. So go follow them. Link to all their socials are in the uh, description below. Definitely go over there to their streams and check them out. And check them out. But uh, he's going to end up bleeding Regilecki and Indeedee. So he could follow me. I could also follow me in the shot. We do have Sash. But I definitely want to pop a lovely little trick in here. I just think Trick Room's gonna be required, right? Trick Room, we can get Pokemon here. I can freely drop EQs. EQs are not bad at all. He would not be bad, but he gets a special defense boost, which is nice. And, uh, he could Dynamax out. That, uh. Actually, you know, I'm just gonna yawn here. I feel like he goes out for Tokus regardless. I'm just gonna yawn that, because I feel like he's gonna Dynamax that Regilecki, right? That Regilecki just seems like it's Dynamax with Indeedee on side. But if he does go for follow me, we, we could throw him to sleep. We'll see what happens. I probably should just follow me the shot and play the smart. Happens, but let's see. He's gonna withdraw Reggie. Okay. He's gonna go into Yvelta. Yvelta. So we're gonna be able to yawn Yvelta, which is solid. Which is solid. What's Indeedee going for? Indeedee's just gonna protect. I like this turn from us. A solid turn from us. <laughs> this turn ended up being amazing. So we get the yawn on the Yvelta. Good old Toei kiss is ready to roll. And I'm just going to pop a trick room. I'm going to say, hey, yo, give me that speed. We'll take that speed. And do I Dynamax Solgaleo at this point? You know, I'm just going to straight up gleam. And uh, what's your team mostly based off of? Seems like special attackers, right? Yeah, I'm just going to quake. Quake into the indie slot. Let's do it. Going to Max coming at you. Going to Max coming at you. I wonder what Yvelt's going to do. 
I do wonder what you about to do. Because there's no way Dynamax is after that Yawn, right? There's just no shot. There's just no shot. I am I am scared of that you about to because he does do a lot of work on a lot of my different Pokemon. But it'd be like that. He's gonna end up with Joel. Totally fine. I probably should have went after that slot. Reg like he's gonna come in hot, but we are gonna be able to take off Focus Ash and we have the speed with us. We have speed because of Trick and rolling with us. I can legit start following me shots, but Gleam's gonna be able to take off the Sash here, which is huge. And then he could just start following me, but we still have Sash on our turn with this. I do dig it. I do dig it. But it could end up yawning again, but I'm, I'm chilling. Maybe he thinks we're going for, for Quake next turn. Really depends what he does. So we're gonna gleam here. And that's some beautiful damage. That's some lovely damage. He's gonna expand the force here. That's totally fine. My Pokemon are able to absolutely soak. And in comes a max quake onto you. And this is gonna pick up the KO, but still it's gonna do a decent amount of damage. Cool. So nice damage onto that slot. Uh what do we do? He could follow me the shot. He could definitely follow me. Uh I could change up terrain. What do I do? Do I just protect my Togi here? I think we'll go for a gleam. I think we'll gleam it. I think we'll gleam it. I think we'll quake again. I'm with it. And then maybe chop a steel spike next turn. I like this turn. I don't mind it. You could swap the reg like you think I'm going for a quake, which I don't mind. I do not mind if he does that. That would be totally fine if he swaps it into Yvelta thinking I'm going for a quake into that slot because I drop a gleam. I'm going after Indeed actually. And we'll just roll from there. This guy, I think this, I think our opponent's thinking about it. But the trick room call and the yawn turn one was huge for us. He's going to end up protecting it in DD and staying in there with Regilecki. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Is he double protecting it? Okay, he double protects. I'm fine with that. I'll take a special defense boost again. Game's going to fly. It's going to get blocked. And we're going to go from there. Okay, I am with it. I'm totally fine with that. Because Quake might be able to take out. I don't think it will, but... It should be able to do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, enough for Gleam to take on next turn. So Gleam can fly in here, finish them off, and I could just go into a Steel Spike. A nice, lovely Steel Spike. Just for a defense boost. I'd rather, I'd rather rip our defense up. So I'll go into Gleam here, and then I'll just go into a Steel Spike. Just to get that boost. Just to get that boost, because I know both my Pokemon are slower. And say he swaps into you about that, that's totally fine. Let's see how one plays. He's just going to go for follow me. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Is, should Gleam come out here first? It does. So Gleam comes out here first. It takes out the Indeedee, and it should leave the Regilecki alive. Perfect. And now I can get off my Steel Spike, get my defense boost, and, and go from there. So he still has Dynamax. We still have Trick Room. So I'm just going to start yawning his Pokemon, right? Probably my play. Probably my play all day. We're set up on a defensive board. Plus two on special defense, plus one on defense. I really do like this. I really, really do like this. We still have Rollboom in the back end for first and priority for fake outs. Uh, Yvelta is going to be the main threat, so I am going to yawn Yvelta first and foremost. Right? It has the dark moves. It has the, the flying moves. It can do a lot. Of so Yvelta comes out here. I could hard swap my boy here. And Groudon's also going to come out here. Groudon. Groudon is also going to come out Groudon cooks with the drought. I got I to put what's called to sleep. I got I to gotta yawn. I got to get the yawns going. I wish I had protect with my with my uh, Solgaleo. That would just be a big turn for us. That would just be a big turn for us. But yeah, we, we're we going to have to yawn here. I'm just going to yawn you. How many turns left in Trick Room? We have one turn left in Trick Room. So we could double protect this and waste this one out. I do have Kai Ogre, which I could swap into, but I think I'll just save him. But yeah, I'm going to do that. And I think I just go into... I could Wild Charge or I could Sun Strike. Hmm. Hmm. I could Sun Strike. But I think Wild Charge would do the most damage. Yeah, because I think he Dynamaxes Yvelta. I probably should have went after the Groudon. He's going to protect... Oh, he protects the Groudon. Yo, sh that means... Oh, uh, no. He definitely double protects me. What a coward. What a coward. So, he double protects. Uh, at this point, I'm gonna. I'm still going to go for the Yawn. I'm still going to go for the Yawn. I am still going to go for the Yawn. And I'll go for another Trick Room. My play. I'll go for another trick. I'm at 234 HP. I mean, he has Pokemon that can really just absolutely dump on me, but might as well go after it, you know? Might as well go after it. Because now he knows I'm yawning. He's, he might be like, yo, I got to get rid of this Togekiss. Target my Togekiss down with the Yvelta and then uh, 
Sprout, I might just go for Blades, and we might be able to eat up a Blades. With, with that bulkiness right there? Trick Room could be nice. Trick Room could be lovely. But yeah, he still has Dynamax. This battle is going to be super close. It's going to be super close. It's going to be super, super close. But yeah, and these Pokemon are bulked up on the defensive. Huge. So we end up Dynamax, and hopefully this is Yvelta, and we are able to get off a... Uh, a Yawn onto it. But no, it's going to be Groudon. This is going to be Groudon. So Groudon's going to come out and about here. He's ready to rock it. We are plus one on defense. He's got to be going for a Quake. And dude, I feel like we can eat this, right? I don't know why. I just feel like we can just soak this up all day. He's going to end up going for an Oblivion Wing, which I'm easily soaking. I'm easily soaking. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we're either getting off a Trick Room or a Yawn, which is enormous. And he's going to rock fall. Can we eat that? You might be able to eat that. Tokus, can you eat that? You do not. But Trick Room is out and about. That's huge. I I'll take that all day. I'll take a Tokus death for a Trick Room. So he was scared of that yawn. He was scared of that yawn. Trick room's out and about. I can roll straight into my Kyogre now, drop some origin pulses, and I can double down into uh, And I can double down into you melt. I'll wild I wild charge and and what's it called? And go into this uh origin pulse. Beautiful. That's beautiful. So give me that weather. Or hope a Kyogre's not weak to policy. That could be a problem, but I think dude, I think we should be fine. As long as you belt don't protect here, we should be chilling. Yeah, Trick Room's back out. We love it. We love it. So it was either he takes the yawn or he takes a Trick Room. And he decided to take that. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to Wild Charge. We're going to get after this. We're getting after Shivelta. Do not want it here. I don't like him. Shivelta's scaring me. Does he protect anybody? He does not. Wild Charge, Flying through here. Not bad damage. Origin Pulse. Finish this one off. Finish that Yvelta off. Go first. Beautiful Origin Pulse. Take him out. We love you. We love you, yo. Huge plays from Gene, yo. This Tokus was actually clutch. This support Tokus, I loved it. It's actually clutch this battle. He has a berry. It's going to be Citrus Berry. Dude, we're thriving here. We are thriving here. We are thriving with this one. He's going to end up going into Quake. Is that going into Solgaleo? I kind of hope so. Let's see. Then he goes into Ogre. And can you eat that? Beautiful. Love you, Kyogre. Love you, Kyogre. So he's not hitting my Solgaleo. He knows we have weakness policy, and he knows we're boosting on defense. Leftover's gonna come out here. I could protect my Kyogre this turn, which is probably my play, right? Actually, no, it's not my play. It's not my play. We're just gonna keep Origin Pulsing. We're gonna keep jamming it down his throat here. <laughs> and then we'll just go for Sunshield Strike because it is our best stab move. Our only stab move, actually. So we'll roll into it. Sunshield Strike's gonna fly. Chip up a little bit of damage. And this Origin Pulse might be able to win this. He just got plus one special defense, and it still wins it anyway. Like I said, guys, we're hopping into our third and final battle, and we're grabbing ourselves a winning record. That's exactly what we just did. Had a great battle here. Got to showcase to kiss and have Kyogre clutch up in the back end. What a solid set of battles for today's video. I want to give one last huge shout out to my boy Eddie G for leaving his team for us. I absolutely love it. We had Togekiss rocking out there with the support board. The yawns were coming up clutch. Dazzling Gleams, everything about it in that third and final battle showcase wise. Togekiss is still strong in the meta. We got Solgaleo doing absolute work. Kai Ogre, obviously a beast. And then we got the Instant Aura, Will Boom, and Sableye, who are always good on any team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.